What it do, folks? I hope you're treating yourselves well, and of course others. My name is Claire, and this is a channel where we like to do tarot readings. Today, love for singles, specifically. I've been celibate for, I stopped counting, but I, it's got to be very close, if not past five years at this point. And we're going to look into some love messages for you guys. I'm very knowledgeable in... <laughs> love and romance not at all but i am hoping to be a conduit because <laughs> i love love i do i want love very much your card at pile one page of cups speaking of love speaking Letting a truth free. It's either maybe you feel kind of funny talking about love, or you might feel foolish for being into a certain person. I think life has set you up against this potential love interest I'm hearing. Maybe you've recently flopped in ways with other people you tried, actually gave it your all, and it did not prevail. Alas, it is failed <laughs> in many ways. You could have done really well in the situation, or it was just doomed from the start, whatever you just went through, whether it was a while ago or recently. It was never going to be good at the end. I think it was a learning process and it was meant to end. Okay, when I said it was not going to be good at the end, I didn't mean that. I meant it was always, <clears throat> it was always going to end. So whether it's good or not, it was always going to end. The Knight of Cups, it's got this really charming duck mask. I think you could f feel foolish for being into someone so soon. The Hanged Man kind of represents this idea of maybe you feel as though you're portraying your ideals or other people, maybe someone you just got out of a, a tiff with, a relationship with, something, but you're into someone new. <clears throat> and it's making you feel a little obtuse, I'm hearing. Maybe you've got in your mind that you can't have the thing that you are kind of seeking right now, whatever you're into, you feel as though it might be a burden and or out of your control or reach for some reason. <clears throat> Five, six, seven, eight. It's got a bunch of axes around this lady. It's the eight of swords. Apologies. This is the eight of swords, and it's a pretty average depiction of such a thing. It's axes instead of swords, though. I, You have a exterior that's kind of rugged so it's easy for you to be cast blame upon maybe it's easy for others to see that you would do something negative or whatnot just because of your they're judging a book by its cover essentially you might have been kind of rough and rugged in the past but it's a sense of others could see you doing something wild and crazy or neglecting others just because they're judging you on your exterior or something that is not you any longer and this is making it hard for you to move forward in the things that you want currently though you're feeling a little motivated by just the idea of I'm gonna live my life sort of feeling I think you are wanting to the star identify what your purpose is, what you're trying to do. I think others for too long have compromised or decided for you and even if they're not boldly stating like do or don't do this, I think they they have a cast a shadow that kind of lingers over you like you're you move in thought of these people. You might be tiptoeing around them or a sense of like sneaking around in your mind <clears throat> or your everyday life because you are having to 
maintain a character, a mask of sorts, because you want something, but it's hard for you to go after it because you don't want to look like the bad guy, bad girl, whatever. You just don't want to be to blame for this, even though there's no blame. The star card, it's this thing that you're after, the things that you are desiring right now, whether it's just to get away for seemingly what feels like illegitimate reasons if you were to put them on paper like you might want to be getting out of um like cutting off a lot of love situations just because or the single part of you you're into someone and this person is lighting your fire making you feel as though you can strive for more though if you were to do such a thing it could compromise a lot of your day-to-day life that you are assuming right now. The Ace of Cups in reverse. So you stay quiet. I think that this person has kind of identified that you are at a standstill in life or you are holding back in ways of... Just... You are holding back in ways. So this person's not going to approach you. I think that this person knows how you feel or they feel similar to you there's a a wanting to start things up for sure though lots of timidness in the air because I think you have walled up kind of frozen in what you've been having to deal with but the person is probably not going to approach you I think you are the person with this task because simply some if it's this tantalizing it's worth going towards is it not Thirteen, the death okay you getting to a new place in life seems like you might be taking on a lot at once when it comes to like your mental stagnation is starting to ramp up and you're feeling more motivated to do the things in your life you could have a job that is very passion-based creative or you just have motivation in your life to do a lot of things I think the motivation is supposed to supply you with this forward motion towards Yeah, okay. So this motivation you're feeling, you might feel like you should be putting it towards work or elsewhere, but I think the idea is you're not going to get results in everything that you choose to do. You got the Seven of Cups, which makes me think you don't know where to apply pressure. You don't know where to extend your energy. And I think if you were to do it in love, it would be a good timing for prosperity and or starting up a new a new mindset or lifestyle like this is the this is the stage where if you would want to because you got the hangman in reverse earlier you've been holding back for so long doing trying to figure out what work you're really wanting to supply and really trying to assume the position of your life and with the hangman in reverse I think it's time for you to let the old decay and rot away as it's trying to in your life, making stagnation in ways like you're not going to be able to forward motion in certain aspects of your life. Success will not be granted because I think for right now you're supposed to be paying attention. Yeah, okay. What I'm thinking. The Two of Pentacles. You're supposed to be paying attention to your heart right now, which is so sweet. This is a really big opportunity for you because I think you really do want love and just don't want to look like the bad guy right now. <clears throat> and my voice is really, like, it's annoying me a lot. It's going in and out, so I'm feeling like you don't even know how to go towards, or you do know how to go towards, um... the things you want it's simply just telling them that you want them or you know starting up a conversation not being timid 
not holding yourself back so you don't feel that timid like the more you put forth energy the easier or more attainable it seems you know so in your life I think you're going to be kind of stifled in certain outlets of your life whether it be like you're not as you're not wanting to hang out with your friends as much you're not as feeling as creative you're not seeing as much output in work or some aspect of that many things are going to be stifled because I think it's time for you to apply pressure to love and the energy of starting new giving yourself the opportunity to get out fully and not feel like the bad guy for some reason because I think this is this energy is within you already like you're already feeling these things you just need to let them out because it's almost like you're scared to fully feel them but the fact that you're going through the motions without even knowing if that would be the case you're putting yourself through things you don't need to so you need to at least try I think I think there's something in your mind love wise and I think you should try it so with that you gotta know I love you pile two darlings lovely of you to join us this is love messages for our singles and yes your card pile two aha you are the wheel of fortune lovely darling yes yes give it to us the Wheel of Fortune means now. You are looking better. That's for sure. Something you're doing has really turned you out. Like, you are looking yummy. For sure. I think you know how to handle yourself in a lot of situations. Maybe when you go to locations people will remember you I think if you frequent locations you eventually have other people that start to you know become more congenial with you the eight of cups Walking away. I think because you chose to walk away from a past relationship, it made you, like, passion skyrocketed for yourself after that. It's almost you took what you were giving. <clears throat> it's like you finally saw what you were giving to other people and you applied it to yourself. And that was pressure, for sure. It made you look real good. You were... Because you have, like, a certain spark of magic where it's almost like when you are int interested in people or when you're in doing certain things habitually it almost like you give life to them like uh when you're in relationships they're popular or you're kind of like an it factor in like your town or something maybe when you go to parties and stuff it's like hype these sort of things you always you always prevail even when I think you've given into a lot of situations in the past where you kind of let your light be hidden by certain people because you really wanted to be with them. Um, you you kept yourself in the dark just simply. You might have not done that in a, Like, you could have gone out and whatnot, but there was a sense of you were distracted in your life, so you applied the pressure to yourself, and you have created a sparkly-ass diamond. You're looking so good. Hard to not look at you. Hard to keep away from you. So there might be a lot of people that are stopping themselves from communicating with you out of spite or, you know, you might have kind of a, um, what do they call it? You're standoffish. So it's easy for people to read the room and be like, okay, well, it probably wouldn't get anywhere if I did communicate with this person or it wouldn't, you know, wouldn't be great. The primary blue in this card is making me think that you're back to basics. Maybe you look like you did when you were younger. <clears throat> you could be getting back to a, a size or a look that you did originally. Maybe for a second you felt like you didn't look like yourself or feel as if you didn't... Something about you is a little off, wonky. 
the high priestess and it came in reverse so i don't think you necessarily have a certain person on your mind maybe you've had people throughout your life that you thought you would end up with my stomach's going off sorry if you could hear that there was an essence of maybe you told people you would end up with them or you just kind of thought that was going to happen i think you held them at a distance for a very long time just to realize that maybe that was how you got out of the situation by slowly weaning off of like you knew that it was at your disposal so it was easy for you to to wean off of it like i said is it like you know if you the the mental game of when you know you can't have something or something's not at your access it makes you want it more i think it's kind of like a thing where you could you knew you had it and you knew you could hold it but you chose not to and through time you realized i just don't even want to give into that because you got the high priestess it was in reverse but i think you've kind of come back into a mentality of it's you always knew your worth but now you actually know what the weight of holding your worth is in your lifestyle and people are the star so attracted i i hear maybe you go to a coffee shop or a place that has drinks that are really nice we all love a, a drink <laughs> doesn't have to be alcoholic but you know like a, a fancy drink or something like that smoothies coffee cafe stuff like that i think there's people there that either look at you a lot or something about that um maybe it's a restaurant there's something about food maybe a grocery store five six your next relationship okay this is a into the future i don't think that this person has been assumed in your life i think they're kind of uh, materializing not like being created for you but <clears throat> it's kind of like your path to this person is being created and <clears throat> Harden, my voice is being so annoying today. <laughs> okay, so I think you will have a strong physical attraction, which is something you might not have thought because you might be a really attractive person in certain ways. So you might have thought you were always going to find someone that was not as attractive as you. I know that sounds really crude and just like narcissist but there was a maybe you didn't think you would find a deep passionate love and i think that the person that's coming in for you is going to have a zest for you in the sense of they want to show you off but they're going to be busy with um a work lifestyle which i think you both enjoy as well i think there's a very strong sense of um you like your space and boundaries but this person will is like you guys will have your own very strong passions in life and that will be each other as well like you'll have like this healthy stack of investments life goals all these things and each other will be one of them as well like you guys will be almost you you'll be one of each other's favorite things like favorite passions in life and because of that, it'll be a friendship. I think you guys will have very um, intimate, but very open sex. I think there's going to be a sense of exploring, exploring each other in a depth of creativity. Um, maybe if that means like going out more or uh, being more social in ways, maybe even in the bedroom. But I think there's just going to be a creativity to your dating life or like you're you're going to want to keep you're going to want to like um is it kindle is that the what you call to do with a fire you're going to want to like you know it's going to be a an ember that you're going to keep a blaze like <laughs> right now you're an ember and this person is going to be firewood that lights you up 
you guys are going to keep each other warm and safe, I think. Because, you know, fire is a purposeful thing in <clears throat> every aspect of life. It helps in so many ways. So you might feel a little without without this person in essence like in your life you could be very motivated but you feel such a strong sense to love and towards um, your relationships like you might have really deep friendships and this will be attained through your love life it will be attained through the person that you end up with and give yourself with entirely because you'll tell them more than you've told other people you'll you'll know that you're going to receive back the same sort of um, compassion and inspiration because I think you really enjoy when people know so many things about you so they can recall upon them. I think that's very, very, um, it's almost detrimental when people are not observant or can't hold light and serious conversations. And it's just like the wheel of fortune all these cards are very heavy in worth so the work is due it's a you have to keep a mental clarity in order to show up to be for this person as much as they want to be for you so with that ah, okay with that you gotta know i love you pile three pile three pile three hello what is up? This is love messages for singles. I love love so much. Or I want to. <laughs> okay. All right. This is your card. The two of swords. Okay. It's got these, I chose it because it's in the background, it's these tigers that are blue and white striped. Oh my gosh, I love it so much. I don't know what it is. It's almost nostalgic to me, the look of these tigers. It sets something off in my brain that makes me feel like I'm eight years old or something. And it's also got the mask, the drama ones where it's like a smile and a frown. I love it so much. Ugh, so good. So the Two of Swords is not necessarily the greatest card, but the look of it is just like, yes. I think that you have been through so much in the recent past. Could have been years, months, days, whatever. So much has unveiled, and it almost seems like sci-fi. It You're in a movie as of lately. I think so many random weird things have unfolded for you that it's homo- it's like... You can't even put it into words, which you haven't. I don't think you've told a lot of people the things that... Ha- like, people might know what's happening in your life in scattered ways, but I don't think anyone has, like, the full story to understand, like, how crazy this has gotten. <laughs> Lots of stuff. I think you've seen, um, through tragedy and misery, a lot of magic that the world has unveiled upon you. I think it took so much hurt and pain you were stripped of a lot of things recently but through that I think you have seen a lot of truth in life um just magic is the word that comes to play again like fantasy world is unveiling for you I think you are starting to realize that yeah you're really you're really a part of this like there's really um a story with your name on it you are in the middle of a story that people could probably tell for years on it, like for decades, millennia after this, because it's just, it's crazy. Okay, with that. Your crazy life, the death, yeah. You might have seen some stuff that it's, it's just a story. <laughs> it's a storybook. I'm not saying that's a good thing or a bad thing. It's just a matter of so many things have you could have seen people fall in certain ways. People that hurt you have met their match or maker. It almost fe- feels like you staying calm and eager to move forward in this um, treachery as of lately has cast a a light on you. So people are starting to see your true colors in a way that's um, beautiful. It really is. 
but they're also starting to see like how you've prevailed by remaining yourself remaining stable being um the ten of pentacles oh my gosh yeah the ten of pentacles came out people because you stood in your power you became more yourself through everything that you were dealt recently i think um your contributors to hate like the people that decided to be haters for no reason people that are just observing you because they enjoy looking at you it's you're on display in some way because you're very interesting because things are unraveling in all the ways if the if people are watching you they can see um how others have hurt you and succumb to those like it's almost tragedy if people have hurt you and you didn't have to do anything about it it just hap- it just happens that you look better and those around you that are not holding the position of love and purity are their true colors are showing too everyone's true true essences are coming down because there's an anvil in this the ten of pentacles i was looking at the moth and i was like yeah of course there's a moth we love moths it's a symbolism of freedom and there's prosperity coming in for you and i think you know that because life is taking care of you in all these ways through what was a lot of hurt and pain and misery as of lately um but the anvil it's like a cartoon where like when people try to step on you they get um squashed themselves you get smushed <laughs> and it's not your fault you didn't have to do anything ah, okay i think um you're more playful now because you realize that you don't have to be so serious you don't have to be hurt the way that people tried to hurt you because life is um like you might have a crush on someone or you might have a lot of options nine of cups you have a maybe you're in a relationship if you're not in a relationship you assume that you are basically soon i think there's a person that has your heart beating pretty fast and um the nine of cups you have a home maybe that is separated from you might be at a distance from what is your heart and love right now i think you kind of know this person is for you if you guys are not in a relationship um you're functioning under the mentality that it will happen eventually or it's coming into fruition there might not be well you got the six of pentacles too so this person is definitely making it clear that they are i think single maybe someone's kind of like doing like a mating ritual or dance they're cleansing themselves so that they can be the proper give and take for you the nine of cups is you holding your home and your atmosphere not taking for granted the fact that life can be topsy-turvy and difficult but we're here for a reason and um you're placed in this this almost like um it's like a padded cell almost <laughs> where you you could drive yourself crazy because there's a lot of stagnation around you right now but what you're supposed to be doing is growing your self passions and assessing how you've loved in the past i think you've had a, a lot of bad relationships a lot of ways that you could have done better but also all the things that you've been through i think you need to recognize where you have trauma bonds to things or you um function out of trauma or well-being of others instead of understanding um what pure love is like i think you um bend over backwards for others there's a sense of you have you probably waited for a really long time for people to assume the position and the next relationship that you're going to be in this person it's kind okay, the 6 of pentacles yeah, the Six of Pentacles. This person is going to be stable and want to give to you as well. I think you both will have equal give and take in the field of money and success. So there won't be competition, which you probably saw in certain ways in the past. I think if it was not in love, it was in 
friendships or something but competition is falling away because your mind's eye is not even seeing the merit in comparing your life to others because we're all on different paths and that that doesn't seem as obvious as it is as of late you, lately you were just um alone very alone and i think that has helped you knock off some of those bad habits and uh loving relationships that you've had in the past and when i say loving i mean just love related i think you let a lot of things slide because you're very easygoing and you've been through a lot of stuff so it's easy for you to just um not react or to act sweep things under the rug might be a bad issue for you so the nine of cups the six of pentacles right the nine of cups is you holding your home and your space and knowing how to communicate without getting frustrated or thinking people are attacking you because I think the next relationship you're gonna have to be able to help this person learn how to love you and the best ways to treat you because the ace of swords got threw me for a loop I think there's a sense of there's a certain way that you need to be loved or the person that you're about to get in a relationship with you might be so eager to be in a relationship but you guys need to take it slow and steady so you figure out the best way to love each other it I think is the advice I'm reaching for because I just got so confused for a second when the nine of pentacles or the nine of cups the six of pentacles and then the ace of swords popped out i was like okay are you in a relationship but i think there's a sense of you know that you might be soon and um you might be really excited by this person but there's a sense of they go about things in a way that is very different than you and it's gonna be maybe triggering in certain ways or um have aspects of past relationships and you might feel as though they are setting you off in certain aspects but you've been preparing for this this whole time you have been preparing for the past years months whatever in this you've been spending time alone and figuring yourself out and when you come into contact with this person when you start a relationship with this person very seriously there's going to be a need to assume the position in how you guys are going to love each other properly. I think that will be the biggest um, need at the beginning. There's going to be new communication. I don't think there's ever been healthy communication in your rela relationships um, or proper in ways. Like you might have, it might have been a good relationship or a bad one, but there is something about not this deep. It hasn't been this deep. So there's, this is something that's very new, very spicy, lovey. It's going to be turned, like the volume is turned to 11, <laughs> as you would say. You're, you're re tapping into a new level, a new arena that you have never seen before. So there is going to be some things that you see from the past showing up in this relationship that might feel like you... Um, like, they might set you off in certain ways, but it's just going to need um, communication and forward motion in proper ways that you might not have understood at other points in your life. But it will become obvious and it'll become more easy over time because, like, look at how sweet this little bowl is. It's got this really sweet face and this heart. So this person is very pure. Um, you guys might be headstrong or it's like a beetle in a bowl. So it's just a sense of maybe either of you haven't been in good relationships or not proper ones. So this is very new and it's going to be very, I'm hearing fleshy, but it's just a matter of um, being malleable for each other because there might be certain aspects of each other that you have to really figure out how to love each other. And I, I keep reiterating that because I think that's a big aspect to it because you're going to be so eager to love that you do need to like stop and evaluate um, each other at certain points in time so you can move forward properly is what I think I'm getting the most. Okay, I'm doing this one last one. The Eight of Cups, yeah. 
walking away from expectations, I think, and the spider. The spider is a symbolism that life is preparing this for you, and it's going to be, look at all these cups around the spider. Um, It's new, it's passion, it's life-altering, therefore it takes a lot of effort, and I think the results are going to be very you walking away from your expectations, walking away from the ways that you've been in the past, walking away from the ways that you've loved people in the past. And I think that will make this relationship really special because it'll be unlike anything ever attained for either of you. It will be like equally as <laughs> new and um, this is this is new. New baby. Okay. With that, you got to know all of you.